What's up guys, Magic Navs here, and in today's video, I finally got some new AO Tennis 2 gameplay for you guys. I'm playing again as Nick Kyrgios and facing the potentially greatest of all time and the biggest threat to Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer's major record is Novak Djokovic, who is now tied at 20 Grand Slams with both Nadal and Federer. It truly is the big three with them having both 20 Grand Slams. It's it's insane. Like I know Federer is kind of at the end of his um, his legacy, or at least his era, but who knows? He could surprise us, you know? And um, Nadal still got a few years at least, as well as Djokovic, so it's pretty likely that Nadal and Djokovic will continue to win Grand Slams in the coming years, even after Federer, if he decides to retire in the next couple of years, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, some Karyos versus Djokovic here. Um, it's fun playing this game once in a while, man. It's a nice break from COD. Um, I haven't been gaming a lot lately, guys, just because um, I've been having a lot going on lately. Um, been mostly working doing a lot of tennis coaching because the tennis coaching business is just booming right now because everyone realized that it's one of the best social distance sports next to golf and um i'm only qualified in teaching golf in tennis so that's why i end up picking that and since i've had experience doing it before too but um yeah so and i'm also as I'm speaking, it's also my last day in the house that I've been in for at least 10 years, or almost 15. So, um, it's kind of a closing chapter now of, um, of the majority of my life living in, in the house that I am in right now. I'm not moving that far, just 10 minutes west of where I'm, I'm, I used to be living in, so... You know, it's, it's going to be the start of a new chapter in my life um, for myself as well as with my family. So um, if if ever anything comes about it, I'll I'll briefly mention it. But regardless, uh, yeah, um, you know, it's been obviously stressful and emotional. Been busy having to get stuff ready for the new house and moving stuff. But other than that, um, yeah, something to kind of uh look forward to or you know face the new uh the new chapter in my life so anyways guys uh enough of a bit of my backstory and uh recent life updates but unfortunately i have to talk about this again guys because u.s airsoft did have to bring it up to airsoft in canada is still in very grave danger against the liberal uh party of of canada like the liberal government of canada i should say my bad um we managed to make the highest record um signatures for a petition against bill c21 which is amazing and um unfortunately now obviously with the way it works um the official petition for it is now has now been closed for a couple months now, but the fight against Bill C-21 continues and Airsoft in Canada is still at a very high risk uh, situation. If somehow, God forbid the Liberals win again, they can bring it up again to really try and um, close the, the so-called loophole as they consider it of uh, mid-velocity replica firearms which is the only reason why we're even allowed to have airsoft in Canada but the thing is it's so uh, sh uh, ridiculous in the fact that we can't have guns that shoot less uh, that, sh that shoot less powerful um, or at least be imported into Canada the less powerful so like Guns like Tokyo Marui, for example, and certain handguns, you just can't get because of the... Well, it's, I can't say you can't get them, because you can, but it's just a lot more complicated, because 
whenever I've had to get certain uh, uh, airsoft guns, like handguns, uh, I would have to request the international uh, store to disassemble it, send it in parts, and then be able to put it back together myself to get around the law, which, I mean, it works, but why would you want to have to go through that hassle, right? Like, you would want to hope that you'd be able to get the gun in its original box and all fully assembled and things like that. But that is the reality with buying Airsoft internationally from Canada, which really, in the end, it shouldn't be like that. Like, there should not be a minimum FPS limit in buying airsoft guns. There just really shouldn't. It's it's ridiculous. And the fact is, now uh, there have been a couple more, a bit more talk about Bill C21. Apparently, as of late, um, Bill Blair obviously talking a bunch of bullshit. Um, I haven't heard a lot about it, but. Um, just because I'm so busy lately, but right now, the only petition that is still available is the change.org um, petition, which is the one that even if you're not, um, maybe even if you're not Canadian, you can still help out and uh, sign the petition to help spread the word about this whole situation. And as well, if you are a Canadian citizen you can write to your MPs and tell them that this should not be allowed to have to be this should not be allowed to be passed because airsoft is a way of life it is a very uh, non-violent sport or and it's a well it's a sport that brings people together it is a highly engaging sport for people and it's 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 one of those hobbies that just allows you to connect with people because it is a group sport and it actually gives people a way of getting out more meeting new people getting some amazing exercise which is already which is and is 10 times better than playing call of duty 24 7 because you're actually doing it in real life you're shooting <coughs> you're shooting replica uh, firearms that um, are based off of your favorite video games or movies and um, you you get to you know it's literally just call of duty in real life for people and the fact is they don't do the research Bill Blair for sure doesn't do his research that this is a non-violent um, sport and trying to ban toy guns like it's pretty clear he's just doing this try trying to please the audience for people that don't know anything about about airsoft and there's just no way that doing this would stop uh, criminal activity from happening like in the end it's just about like you're, you're, you're gonna be banning toy guns when when criminals are still gonna get guns illegally and commit crimes and then you're gonna keep banning more guns and harming the the firearms community in Canada which you've already done because you banned the AR-15 and other guns which is flat out just sad and ridiculous so in the end guys like we still have a fight on our hands we have to keep spreading the word out um, talk to your MPs, write a letter to your MPs, um, and um, just keep spreading the word out. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in my future videos. Until next time, peace out, guys.